purpose of this class today is to introduce you to Project Maths. And what I want to talk to you about today is measurement. So hands up, <coughs> give me two different ways of, say, measuring the distance between here and your home. David? Uh, meters. Meters? Anyone else? Miles. Well, today's class was a huge introduction for the children to Project Maths. So I started off the lesson today by introducing them to Project Maths and what we were going to do today, which was radian measure. I'm going to introduce you now to a new unit of measurement for angles. So we're going to forget about the degrees for just a moment. And now I'm going to introduce you to something that's uh, called a radian. And what we're going to do today, first of all, is hand you out a piece of string. So David, would you like to do that for me? Give each couple one string. Okay, so I'd like you to use the brown string that you were handed. And the first thing I want you to do is to get your compass and measure a radius with your compass. From the centre to the outside, draw a line in, that's your radius. Using that string, you now put that string... We used a piece of string, sort of, to use radian. So you take the radius and you get a piece of string the same length. You bring that along the circumference and then you find a point at the end of it. Join the middle point of the circle to that edge and that angle then in the middle is the radian. What do you understand by the phrase an angle of size one radian? Vicky, what would you say is a radian? An angle of one radian, how would you explain it? The arc on the circumference is the same as the radius and the angle at the centre is the radian. The angle at the centre is the radian. And so we did we learn a lot more by ourselves through her just giving us a sum and then trying to figure it out ourselves. And it was actually a little bit better than usual, like, you know, because she didn't spend ages trying to teach it and then we didn't understand it and she'd have to go over it again. We just got it straight away because we figured it out ourselves. Yeah. I don't get the question. We have to make a connection between the amount of radians in a full circle and, and the circumference. So, well, this connection three radians in semi circles. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I know what you mean now. Yeah. It was good to be able to like have someone else to help you instead of being made do it on your own, because then you weren't under as much pressure either. Like, and using the two of you. If one person was stronger at something and another person, you know, it was easier to get the hang of it then. If I told you that that was uh, eight centimetres, what was the length of that arc there? 24. How did you get 24? Three times eight. Three times eight. Excellent answer. So you're, under, you're really getting it. That's fantastic. I think the now, biggest benefit of today's class was seeing the kids that wouldn't normally shine in the lesson really participating and answering the questions. And it wasn't just down to the two or three kids who normally would answer all the questions. Everybody had uh, an opportunity to do so. And the confidence that they got as a result of that had huge benefits to their learning of the concept involved. And they came up with the answers themselves and that was amazing for them and they were so proud of themselves for doing it and they're probably less likely to forget it in the future as well because they came up with it and it was something that will be innately understood by them. Basically now I want you to create your own formula for me and I'm just going to call the radius r, I'm going to call the angle theta and I'm going to call the arc length l and I want you to write down a formula for me with theta l and r in it that's true. How would you work out theta for instance? Write down the formula for me. Give me the formula. Yeah, yeah, you can actually do that. Yeah. And then that's equal to T, yeah. I thought the way that even if you weren't great at maths, you could still get the hang of it. Like it wasn't just like three or four out of the whole class understanding and everyone else just like looking at her. It was, it was really good about that. It was just easier to understand and just simpler. Now I'd like you to hold up your boards and tell me what was the formula for finding the angle in radians at the centre of the circle. You know what? You have just discovered one of the formulas in your maths tables book, in your log books. Well done. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs>